So guys, take a look. I have put my SIM card from my iPhone and I happen to be on the AT&T network and you can see we're connected. See the green? So this the nano SIM card is in the back and I'm going to show you what's in the box after we go through this demo. But let me pull up my phone. I'll put it on the screen on this side or that side and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Now look, this is powered by a battery. There is no plug in there. This is completely powered by the battery inside. So it's mobile and I can connect up to 32 devices onto that SIM card using my wireless carrier. So you do have to have hotspot enabled. So whether you're with at and I actually have to pay for that service, but if you're in Verizon or T-Mobile, I don't know how that works, but you have to have hotspots enabled. So let me pull up my phone. Let's do that right now. Okay guys, so here we are on my phone and you can see in the top left right there that I am connected via Wi-Fi to this and it says there's no SIM card. So I've taken the SIM card out of my phone and I put it in here. So now we are connected Wi-Fi to this and I can prove that it works. Let's just go to Google right here and I will search for, um, let's just search for Roses Black and you'll see on my phone, there it goes. So we have connectivity, we have black roses on Google. So everything is working A-OK. -okay. So let me show you what's in the box and we'll go over all the details, but it does work. Very, very cool guys. So let me show you real quick on the Wi-Fi. So if I go to settings and then we can go to Wi-Fi and you can see here on this on the mobile that I am connected to FirstNum and I'm actually on the 5G Wi-Fi. So that's connected to this via Wi-Fi. They also have, I believe, the two and a half. Let's take a look. So let's go back to Wi-Fi. Yeah, here we go. So if I scroll down, so you also have the 2.4 gigahertz as well. So that's right there. Maybe I'll circle that on the mobile screen. So you have 2.4 and then this, I'm actually connected at five gigahertz Wi-Fi to this. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. Definitely works and very cool. Okay guys, let me show you what's in the box. This is the first num wireless portable router and modem and you can add your nano sim card so it'll work with AT&T, T-Mobile and wireless if you have the nano sim card typically you'll find those in iPhones uh, I'm not sure about other phones but let's take a look so here's the box let's open it up and of course you get your manual you probably want to read that like I do and then here's the box we'll go through that probably has all of our cables in it but here's the modem itself it has two 5G antennas so that's cool so you're going to get lots of good connectivity and then here's your uh, status lights here and those will actually light up so I can turn that on right now it's not even plugged in because it does have a built-in battery let me show you that on the back here you go so we pop this open let me get it with my fingernail hopefully let's get this out there you go so it does have a built-in battery so it is portable the cool thing about this one is you can actually connect up to 32 devices when you put your SIM card in. So that's pretty cool. So if you have a hotspot enabled phone, take your nano SIM card out and what you're gonna do is plug it in here, right there, hopefully you can see that. Plug that in there and you'll be able to connect 32 other devices and this is portable so you can take this outdoors with you, go camping or what have you. And then of course you do have four RJ45 ports right there and then you do have power. So if you wanna plug that into maybe um, a power supply, you can do that. And then you have your other buttons here and I'll show you how to use that here in a second. But take a look, that's what it looks like. And then in the box, let's see here, you get everything you need. So power, here's your power right there. So if you wanna recharge the battery or plug it in, there you go. And then of course you get one RJ45 cable. So you would use this, uh, you could actually connect this to your existing Wi-Fi router at home plug this in and then if that loses connectivity this would switch to your sim card if you had one in there so it's kind of a cool little backup system so you do get the cord as well so that is everything in the box pretty cool right so it's not connecting so yeah it doesn't have a sim card in it that's why